Welcome, mate. I'm Bloodthirsty Lord, but you can come in, Lordy, and say we're back on Paro once again. Should we see more of a continuation of the series gameplay that I've been showcasing in my last couple videos of Paragon? But that isn't the main topic of today. There's been a lot of rumors about the new hero coming out because the hashtag every three weeks commence when Seraph did get released, which means we're getting closer to the third week, and we all know what that means. A new hero will be released into Paragon. A lot of excitement happens during these stages because now they're going to start teasing it, giving us little bits and things here. So we start putting it together, make the puzzle, and hopefully end up with the end result before it's actually released. But there has been data mine information that we're going to be discussing today about a hero that potentially could be in the game, released officially by Epic Games and the Paragon team. We have some data mine info from two months ago that could be quite active and still work till today and could end up being what the hero we see in the next hero release. And I know all you mates are super hyped as I am to bring the news to you guys as quick as possible. So get ready for this action-packed little episode. I don't know how long it's going to go, but we're going to say as much information as we can about the new hero, Muldang or Muldang. It's going to be really interesting. But before we get into this video, make sure you hit that like button and subscribe button to keep up to date with the greatest and latest Paragon Gaming content and Paragon Gaming news. And if you mates haven't turned on notifications yet, you can do so by hitting that little bell button to next to the subscribe button so you have the chance to become one of the first mates on the channel up to date with my amazing gaming content. As always, expected here first, so without further ado, let's get straight into this. And yes, mates, I did mention the new hero's name, Mu Dang or Mu Dang, however you say or however you pronounce it, it doesn't really matter, but that is the new hero's name. Could be the code name only, but could also be the actual name we see in game. Because that happened with Crunch. Crunch was the code name for that hero, and then Crunch became the real name in game in Paragon. So we can expect the same thing occurring here, or it could be a completely different name, but that is the code name Mu Dang Mu Dang. And this guy is really, really interesting. Due to the fact that he's able to spawn creatures around him, and that's interesting. You can't say that's bad. That's something we haven't seen in Paragon yet. A new mechanic, something enjoyable, and reminds me of all these other characters from other games. But the one here I've played recently with this mechanic is, is Yorick from League of Legends. He's able to spawn creatures or ghouls around him. Same thing happens with this creature or this hero. He's able to spawn creatures as well. It's a really interesting mechanic and something we need in the game because it will help with split pushing and having that idea or mechanic become more weird or give some more awareness to the mechanic in Paragon because split pushing is a really good strat in any MOBA game experience because it leads to destroying the towers, inhibitors and pretty much all structures in your way until you reach that core and that final thing that you need to destroy. So these heroes are really fun for that aspect of the game. And that's not saying we don't have heroes at this current moment that can split push. Iggy and Scorch and Kalari are great split push heroes but this new hero Mu Dang or Mu Dang will be able to emphasize on the idea of split pushing and the day mine information that we're going to be explaining within this video about that new hero Mu Dang is pretty spot on due to the fact this resource of day mine info has predicted so much it talked about the queen release the countess release the Seraph release, the Crunch release, and this was three months ago. Oh my god, guys, insane. And they also had some other heroes in there, and Mu Dang seems to be the next hero. So get hyped, mates. Let's explain his abilities. The day my information that we did gain about his abilities and his kit, it's gonna be bloody juicy. Mu Dang's primary ability is Swing Something. This is most likely his basic attack. That's the idea that he's obviously holding some type of weapon or knife or some type of weaponry that we don't know of exactly at this current moment that he swings left to right to do his basic attacks. So it looks like he will be a melee hero. And Mu Dang does sound like a male hero. Hopefully not a human hero, maybe a different species, alien hero, that would be pretty sick. Or some type of creature that spawns something out of him. That would be a pretty sick idea to bring into Paragon. But we don't know what he is exactly at this current moment. We only know his abilities and what makes up his kit. Mu Dang's ability 1, most likely his primary ability, is summon wolves with attack buff. What? What's going on here? So you're able to summon a creature, a wolf, that is pretty sick. But with an attack buff, it's pretty unclear if the attack buff is for Mu Dang only, or for his wolves as well, or just for his wolves and not for him when he's using his base attacks of some sort. Either way, you're getting some type of attack buff while spawning wolves. Wolves plural, most likely you're able to spawn multiple wolves, but we don't know how many you'll be able to spawn. Most likely up to three and nothing more because that's a reasonable amount, or maybe four. I feel like if you spawn three or four creatures or wolves, in the actual lane, it's going to be kind of dominant and it won't really make sense. So that idea of making it more than that won't kind of exist. And now let's move on to ability 2, which is wolves can circle a target and explode. Your creatures or your wolves that you spawn can explode on targets and they surround them before they explode. That is pretty terrifying, mates. I'm expecting the damage to be pretty high 
or somewhat decent. And then the more wolves you have, the more damage you'll be able to do against that one target or those multiple targets in that circled area. That is pretty sick. So pretty much you'll use ability one to summon wolves, unless you have wolves as a passive or something like that. Like wolves always are with you. And you're able to summon them in a way to use your abilities against the enemy heroes, like ability one, which will summon wolves. So the wolves next to you will be able to be summoned or maybe spawn out of you or something like that. And you'll be able to destroy them by using wolves. And you obviously have an attack buff with ability one. And then you're able to circle them with ability two and make the wolves explode on that target. It's a pretty interesting concept indeed. And now let's move on to ability three, which sounds kind of interesting. The name of the ability is Gravity Roots. And that's all we get out of the ability. Most likely, you'll be able to root your enemy with this ability, that's pretty obvious. And the gravity aspect is like Quang's tether, how he comes from the sky and goes towards the terrain, then lands, and then obviously does the tether. I'm guessing that exact same mechanic is with this hero, Mudang, and he's able to use that and root enemies instead of tether them. So that's kind of interesting as well. And mates, before we get into the ultimate for Mudang, which sounds like a badass ultimate, I don't want to go into that right now because we have something special. We are uploading a video at this current moment, it's a different game, it's going to be pretty hardcore, and it's going to be really fun and pretty much an amazing experience. It's going to be up on the channel from two hours from now. Most likely when this video is up, that will be up at the same time. Because I'll be uploading them both at the same time. And it's going to be crazy. It's just going to be crazy how you guys give me your feedback on that game. Because I really enjoy that game. And obviously enjoy Paragon as well. And Paragon is the main game. It's always going to be uh, pulled up by other games as well. Because this is a gaming channel. And a little thing, we're going to give you a little motivation quote by Lordy, aka me, on Twitter. One of the most recent tweets about this is, The idea of happiness is the goal that we all strive for, but sometimes it's just standing right in front of you. Focus, mates, with that little love heart emoji, you know how it is, mates. I always put these little inspirational quotes on my Twitter because it's something great to inspire others and make them motivated to do something they want to do in life. Not just for myself, because obviously I'm pretty motivated. I have these quotes sometimes around my room, in my notepad, with all the Paragon latest news, details, and everything that you need to know about new heroes, all that juicy information. And then my quotes are there for motivation and inspire myself, but also to inspire you guys, and obviously motivate you guys as well that I do on Twitter. So make sure you follow me on Twitter. That will really help you guys out. <laughs> A little bit off track, but let's get back onto the main topic, and that is the ultimate for Mu Dang. This is one badass ultimate, let's get into it. Marking a target and applying damage for tracking. What is this tracking mechanic? I don't understand this, but most likely if your wolves were able to track that enemy or track that target, you will be able to apply more damage on that enemy. That's what it seems like. Maybe marking the target on the enemy hero will make the enemy hero debuffed in some way so your wolves do more damage towards them. Or it could be a general debuff to that hero so all heroes on your team, your team members will be able to destroy that hero quite easily. Or it could just do crazy amounts of damage. One or the other, we don't know exactly, but that is pretty sick. Not too much is given off with this day in mind info. Obviously, it's kind of old, but it's still there. It's still relevant. Some of these abilities could change and could end up being a totally different hero that we see released into Paragon very soon. And we do have some more additional information about Mu Dang that was day in mind as well, which is something due with his ultimate that affects per wolf. So that's kind of interesting. It also does have some type of healing ability or mechanic that we don't know currently of. So he's able to heal himself in some way. And there's a wolf delay duration between each spawn of the wolves and what they can do within the actual map. So I'm guessing they'll be spawned and they have a limit or time what they can do on the actual map of Monolith. And then they will despawn or pretty much destroy themselves or explode. Whatever they do, it's kind of interesting. But the one thing I'm hoping for is this hero not to be a human hero or human lookalike hero. I want to be something like Grux, a creature or species, a part of the Agoran universe. That is something interesting and will obviously help with the lore about Agora and everything that we need to know in Paragon. So that would help us if we do get a hero like that. So please, every games of the Paragon team, make that happen, make that dream happen of not having a human as the next hero. So mates, if we do gain any more information about this new hero, Mudang, or whatever the next hero is going to be officially by Epic Games and the Paragon team, expect it here first. We're gonna break it down completely, go through every bit of information and bring it here to you guys quickly as possible because that's what we do on this channel. I like to keep you guys up to date as much as possible about the Paragon news and content that we do provide on this channel. So most likely the next piece of official information by Epic Games and the Paragon team about the new hero will be a teaser image of some sort and then we'll break it down and we'll go through it completely. But mates, as always, I want to know your thoughts about this video. What do you think about Mew Dang and his abilities and his kit? Do you like the idea of him spawning these wolves or creatures on the map of Monolith that could obviously come and destroy you and explode in your face? Personally, I think that's a pretty good ability. 
it's pretty entertaining. <laughs> but mates, leave your opinions and your thoughts in the comment section down below. So mates, if you did enjoy this video, show us why I smashed that blind like button. Let's try to get 200 likes on this video. And if you make sure to see more Paragon Gaming content and more Paragon Gaming news, all you have to do is share this with your friends and hit that subscribe button to become a mate today. And that is all for this video. Oh, time's go, but don't you worry. We'll be back very soon. Hey, Dad's boys, you can't see nothing yet. Just imagine Mu Dang spawning those wolves, but the actual character Mu Dang himself, the hero himself, is a character that goes on full legs and does so much damage. I would love that. Make that dream happen, mates. Come on, Epic Games with Paragon Team. We need that to happen. <laughs> and that it feels right.